Hello everyone, I am Hyun B and today I have arrived at my favorite traditional festival, Ehek. And today I will show you how we celebrate summer in the coldest city on earth, Yakutsk. The Saha people are native to Siberia and we celebrate New Year twice a year on 1st January and also on the 21st of June, which is a summer solstice day known as a Hoch festival. You might already know that we live in the coldest place on Earth, the northeastern part of Siberia, where the winter temperatures can dive down to minus 71 degrees Celsius. So as you can imagine, celebrating the summer is a very special time for us. The Ehech festival is a celebration of the sun, which breathes life back into our land after the long winter. It's an amazing experience that displays the rich culture and vibrant spirits of the Yakut people. I hope that gives you a good idea of what the festival means to us. Now let's go to the festival itself. So during the Ehek festival we always wear our traditional Yakutian attire and this is my Yakutian traditional dress called Haladai along with uh, Yakutian traditional jewelry. All of the Yakutian jewelry is always made from natural materials like copper, silver, bronze. This always has uh, its own meaning. For example, this one it's uh, protect me from the evil spirits. This is the uh, the symbol of the sun. Most of the uh, Yakut people they prefer to wear a silver jewelry, but it can be very expensive and it can be uh, weight around 25 kilograms. The whole Yakutian traditional woman attire can be cost up to three thousand to five thousand dollars. So as you can see. Yakutian's women's traditional clothes are both unique and beautiful, but there is more to our culture than just attire. We also have our own beauty standards in Yakutia. For us, a woman having a long hair, and when I say long, I mean extremely long hair that goes all the way down to her feet, is seen as beautiful. To honor this, we have a fun competition every year, and girls from all over the region join in. Maya, Moving on from the long-haired beauty of Yakutia, let's journey north. This unique home belongs to people from the north. They inhabit regions near to the Arctic Ocean where they tend to their reindeers. They have even brought their own traditional food to the festival, so let's give it a try. Uh, this is my first time to try the heart of the reindeer. <laughs> this is the very traditional food where the people from the north live. Atvarnoida. It tastes like a beef, to be honest. A little bit like a, somewhere in the middle of the liver and beef. Like pretty normal taste. Uh, in Yakutia we live uh, raw liver, so I really used to eat these kind of things. A central highlight of the festival is the circle dance known as Ahoha. This dance has a profound cultural significance in our Yakut community. The dance is spiritual, we dance and sing an ancient poetic verses together. It's a way of honoring our ancestral spirits, seeking their blessings and protection. 
The Ahohui dance is also a great way to feel good. Dancing together makes us feel connected and happy, which is really important for our mental health, especially after a long, cold winter. Speaking of mental health, I want to talk about how important it is for us living in the coldest place on Earth and how we make sure we take care of our minds. That's why I am happy to tell you about BetterHelp. This is a paid partnership with BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest online therapy platform with over 30,000 licensed therapists and by helping almost 4 million people, BetterHelp is changing what we think about the therapy. And living in the coldest place on earth can be difficult sometimes, but I think in any part of the world we're going through the difficult and stressful times. So speaking to a professional therapist can really help to manage your life more effectively. I've had some uh, therapy sessions and it's really, really helped me to understand my feelings better. It took me for a while to find the right therapist. I took some recommendations from my friends, but what worked for my friends didn't work for me because I think everyone connects differently with the therapist. And that's why I love BetterHelp, because you can just go online uh, find your therapist and if you don't match with your therapist you can just change for free and it's really easy convenient and Affordable so you don't have to spend a lot of time traveling and you can just go online and better help So if you want to sign up just find the link in the description Betterhelp.com slash and signing up is not only helping this channel But also you can get a 10% discount using my link on your first months Coming up next, the events that really stirs up excitement at the festival is the traditional strongman competition known as the Games of the Gin. The Games of the Gin is a multi-sport competition among locals, where athletes take part in a variety of events, all inspired by traditional Yakut sports. The athletes put their strengths and skill to the test across seven challenging strongman tasks, all for the honor of being crowned the Deacon Games champion and the $15,000 grand prize. It's a thrilling event that always keeps us on the edge of our seats. In the first challenge, athletes undertake a unique three-part jumping test. These three jumps are performed one after another without any breaks. The second challenge, known as the Yakut Pinwheel, requires both strength and technique. Athletes hold a stick from its end with both hands and put in a slot. They can't change their grip or lean over, and they can't step over the stick. They have to spin around it and get back to where they started. Each athlete gets one try with two minutes to do as many spins as they can. The one who does the most spins in that time wins the challenge. After mastering the stick in the Yakut Pinwheel, athletes get ready to test their strengths and skill in a different arena for the third event, the Yakutian wrestling match known as Hapsagai. Hapsagai is a wrestling tradition that's unique to Yakutia. The competitors catch each other's legs and strive to force their opponent to touch the ground with any part other than their feet. <laughs> The final competition, truly a show of raw power, involves lifting a massive 115 kg stone. Competitors need to use all their remaining strengths for this daunting task. The tension rises as each competitor takes their turn. The crowd holds their breath, waiting to see who can conquer the stone and claim victory in this ultimate test of strength. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This year was truly special. A 22-year-old won the competition title, beating his older brother in the final and following of the footstep of his father, who was a six-time champion of the Games of the Game. That was such an exciting game. Now let's move on and go for a small walk around the festival area. So this is the street where it is the uh, local handmade things are sold. Look at this beautiful handmade shoes. This is the art, the Yakutian art made from the fur. It's like a game of thrones. <laughs> and uh, Yakutia is one of the largest and one of the richest regions of Russia. Uh, it has about 95% of uh, diamond reserves here in Yakutia and also the 20% of the world's uh, mining, it comes from Yakutia. Now I changed my jewelry. Now I'm wearing the, the real silver Yakutian traditional earrings, which you can buy from Kunbi store. This is also the traditional Yakutian ring. It's really, really beautiful as well. I love these earrings. I think they look so nice. Next, we decided to have a little break and try some traditional Yakutian food. We started with fried Yakutian pancakes and this special sauce called salamat. It's made from butter, flour and water. <laughs> yes, it's really high in calories and super filling, but trust me, it's very tasty. For the salad, we have raw frozen fish seasoned with pepper, salt and oil. It's one of my absolute favorites. During the hot days, it's really good to eat this raw frozen fish. For the main dish, we have a traditional Yakutian soup made from baby horse offals. I know it might not sound appetizing, but it's a must try in Yakutian cuisine. Oh, for a snack, we have this fantastic pies filled with onion and baby horse meat. They are so juicy that the filling just leaks out. Seriously, they are so tasty. I totally love them. <laughs> I know our relationship with horses might seem strange to you, but to survive our long, harsh winters, we have come to rely heavily on horse meat and dairy. However, horses mean much more to us than just that. They are sacred, playing a vital role in both our survival and our traditions. The horse races at the Uhuh festival are a perfect example. It's not just a race, it's a celebration. Everyone comes together, placing bets and cheering. It's a breathtaking part of the celebration. It's not just about the thrill of the race, but also about the community coming together, the excitement in the air and the shared joy of a tradition that we all hold dear. The Ehug festival truly is a grand celebration that starts with the first light of the day and continues until the break of the following dawn. 
we spent our time at the festival enjoying concerts and dances. The day never seems to end during the summer in Yakutia. The tilt of the earth during this time keeps the sun above the horizon almost the entire day. It's one of the unique experiences living here near the Arctic Circle. When the clock strikes 2 a.m., the atmosphere changes. Everyone starts preparing for the most important ritual of the festival, the greeting of the sun. Following our long, dark winters, this closing ritual carries a special significance. It's our chance to pay respect to the sun and feel connected with nature and each other. Under the warm, golden lights of the midnight sun, we come together to honor the spirits of nature, the sun and fire. It's a captivating tradition that everyone looks forward to. Around 3 a.m., as the sun begins to rise, everyone reaches out with their hands towards the rising sun, as if trying to capture its warmth and energy. It's not just a beautiful sight, it's a time to soak in the energy of the sun that we have missed so much during the long winter. It's a powerful spiritual moment that leaves us energized and deeply connected to each other and the world around us. The culmination of a day of celebration is our traditional dance Ahohai. This dance brings us together, creating unity and joy and strengthening our sense of community. It truly embodies the spirits of the Ahok festival and showcases our resilience as the Yakut people, always ready to welcome the next cycle of life. So this is how we celebrate summer in the coldest city on earth, Yakutsk. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot about our culture and traditions and you are warmly welcome to join us next year. Let me know what you find the most interesting uh, in our festival and it will be nice if you could share this video with someone to spread the beauty of this festival. Goodbye and love you all. Bye! <laughs>